Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what it does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. All right, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. All right man there's a lot of jealous energy going around okay and people is getting desperate i could feel it i feel the energy i don't know about y'all i feel like this reading could be for people who are like targeted individuals all right people getting desperate they even they try and even morph into bugs to try to spy on you like this is sad okay <laughs> um it's sad. But the, the reason why these people are going so hard, I guess, or trying not to, like, whoever these people are, they're, they're trying not to give up, you know, but it's because they know their time is near, basically. Um, you guys could be seeing, uh, 911. Okay, you guys could be seeing 1212 a lot. You guys could be seeing 1144, 144, 444. If so, this message is for you. Okay. Um, there's a lot of people upset because you're no longer people pleasing. All right. Um, you guys could have recently cut an individual off. Okay, from your in from your energy. Okay, you could have stopped talking to someone, pulled away. Um. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to just as quickly as you cut a toxic individual off, it's like the enemy sent another agent just as quick. Like, <laughs> there's a pattern occurring. That's what's going on. There's a pattern occurring here. Somebody's name could be Betty. Someone's name could be Tracy. Someone's name could be Bruce. Okay, or someone's uh, first, middle, or last name could start with a B or a T or a J or an A. Okay, these could be your initials or somebody else's. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. I'm also getting like you guys could be like growing, you guys could be growing tired of like people's excuses or people's people's shit. Okay. I don't blame you. All right. Have patience. It's not going to be that much longer. You could already, whoever I'm speaking to, you can already feel like something is going to be, something new is coming in. Something new and beautiful and exciting. Okay. So just focus on that. Don't focus on whatever else. Don't focus on the monkeys in the circus. Okay. Losing their gosh dang mind. Ooh. Who are you? Sacrifice. <laughs> god damn you're being told to let go of whatever this is okay let it go don't allow it to um live rent free in your mind the number 12 is very significant you guys could be dealing with a sagittarius or a capricorn or i'm speaking to one holy spirit holy angels tell me more yeah we have um the empress card number three you are very um fertile right now you could be attracting a lot of good things right now, okay? I'm also getting something about your heart chakra. It could be expanding at this time. Tell me more. It could be very much opened and balanced. Someone here could be 35 years old or 53. All right, we got wisdom that came out. It's very important for you to listen to your wisdom, your inner wisdom at this time when it comes to you dealing with certain individuals, okay? With the fact that the 9-11 is out here, that means that you need to be alert when it comes to your surroundings, all right? You need to be alert about what knowledge that you share, okay? About yourself to people or about anything, really, okay? Because you got people around you that are trying to find any little thing to try to, like, um use against you to make you look like a bad person like for instance i had a <laughs> never run just listen then pay attention okay they're trying anything they can 
they'll be like, oh, someone, like for instance, for me, for, they'll be like, oh, so-and-so was wearing green on a Wednesday. That means she's worshiping blah, 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 blah. Like you just gotta just, <laughs> just be, just be mindful. They're gonna try to do anything they can, okay? They could even be teaming up with new people, recruiting new people, okay? I keep getting the word bitter. Someone is bitter. Or they're trying to get you to become bitter. Okay? Whoever this person that you let go, they could be bitter because you let them go. Someone here could be 33 years old. Someone here could be an Aries. Someone here could be a Pisces. Someone here could be a Taurus. Someone here could be a Leo. Holy Spirit, what's going on? We have Aquarius. Someone here could be an Aquarius. Okay. Somebody here that let you go or cut you off. Okay. Maybe somebody here. Ooh. Mm. Mm hmm. We got Sag at the bottom of the deck. Listen, someone underestimated you. Someone thought you were an easy ass target in order to sacrifice or to throw under the bus or pin something on, but they're now realizing they judged the book by its cover. Okay, and it the cover wasn't what was inside the gosh dang book. This person knows that um you're very intelligent because you outsmarted somebody here. You were ten steps ahead of these individuals. Listen. That's crazy. I was just going to go on a rant about that. <laughs> Let people think you're stupid. Okay? Let people think that you don't know what the fuck is going on. That's what I had to do. That's what I've been having to do ever since I've been on this journey. You just... Play stupid. Act like you don't know what the fuck is going on. Don't get all riled up, even though it may piss you off. Just be like, eh... Let them think you don't know what's happening, okay? <laughs> okay, so we have Leo. There could be a Leo out here. Okay, you guys could be seeing the master number 33 a lot. Um, yeah, whoever I'm speaking to... You could be someone who's very popular, very loyal, very optimistic. You could be a natural um, leader. You could be a natural beauty. You could be someone who deeply cares for others, okay? Uh, you could easily get attention, especially because you're in this empress energy, okay? You're in a very magnetic energy. You're attracting a lot of things at this time, okay? Things are naturally gravitating towards you. You are also protected, you're also a gravitating a new start to your ass. And someone here wants to take away your umbrella, bro. When it rains, it pours. I'm also getting like you. What's helping you be in this Empress energy or having this heart chakra be open like this is you forgiving others who hurt you. Okay. Also, there's somebody here that could be try who's following their heart when it comes to you, okay? You could have someone who, maybe you help someone open up their heart chakra, and now, since it's been opened, this person is missing you. Maybe you walked away from this person, and now they're missing you, okay? They could be suffering in silence, or maybe you guys aren't communicating with this person. Um, this person is getting the nudge to come towards you, okay? Mm. What do we got one thing? Okay. Somebody wants to join you on your fresh start or whatever new beginning you have. We have hair clip. Yeah, you are protected. You have some form of um, security here. We have luxurious pride, grace, success. Yeah, center of attention. It says becoming more attractive. You're just becoming more and more attractive. Whoever I'm speaking to. I'm also getting like at first, maybe there was someone here that wasn't seeing you for who you was, and now they are. 
this person is now realizing you your wisdom is attractive maybe this is someone who didn't understand you fully okay they didn't take the time to understand you fully or something Maybe someone is running into a lot of people who are unwise, and now this person is appreciating your wisdom, if that makes sense, okay? Or the way you think, your mind, okay? You could have helped this person become more easygoing, all right? Or you could have helped inspire this person to take care of business or something. Why do we have partnerships in the life of things? Whoever was teaming up with the number 311 again. Ember is the color of her energy. Oh. Okay, so we have 311 here. There's somebody here who's enamored by you, okay? I gotta tell you something. Do, 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 do. And it goes like, whoa, ember is the color of her energy. I don't know. Something about that song is significant. Um, someone is anxious about who they partnered up to or with in order to do something to you. This could be an Aquarius or a Leo that are feeling anxious about the path that they chose when it came to coming up against you. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Someone here could be 38 years old or someone here is born in 1984 or 1983 or 1985. I'm also getting like... When you were together with this person, this person felt like they were on the right path. Someone felt like they were where they were supposed to be. Now that you're out of their life, they feel lost. Somebody feels lost without you. They want to have an entrance back into your life. They want to have a ticket. They want to have admission back into your life. You guys could be seeing 1111 a lot. Yeah, we got many wishes. Okay, it says many... I said many wishes, but it says many riches are coming your way. Guidance, important decision for the better fortune. It says opportunity to evolve, love and appreciation. Okay, so someone might want to come in and show you how much they love and appreciate you, but I don't know, child. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Let's find out. I'm also getting like somebody could be somebody is listening to like the advice you gave them or something. Maybe in the past somebody here didn't listen to the advice you gave them. Someone here could be 53. But um maybe you gave someone some advice. Maybe they thought your advice was was, you know, whatever. Maybe now someone is seeing the value of your wisdom. Taurus. You could be a Taurus. Maybe you told a Taurus something or a Taurus told somebody something. Okay. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the snake. Note the date. This could be you or someone else. Um, people who have the Chinese zodiac sign of the snake are very fucking wise. These are very intelligent people. Why do we have um, wisdom here? Who, who, is, who else is involved in this? You could have you could you could have gave someone advice about resources or stability or what they should do with finances and they didn't listen to you and now they're in regret. This could have been a feminine energy that's in regret. They could have been they could have lost a lot of money here. Okay, this feminine energy could be a Sagittarius or you could have Sag somewhere in your chart or somebody did something without planning or did something abruptly. Okay. Or someone here is going to gain some sort of wisdom here from uh, some sort of financial loss that they experienced. Something like that. Okay, or this is, I'm talking to a feminine energy that's a Taurus. Maybe you, um, this is something that you experienced in the past. 
and you learn from it and now you are more wise with with what's about to come in or something i don't know child nah i do know why do we have this so the person that wants to come back in could have the chinese zodiac sign of a horse because that's what came out first snake this person can have the chinese zodiac sign of a snake that wants to come back this could be a friend an acquaintance or a co-worker okay that wants to partner up with you oh shit this person karmic as fuck so you got a karmic individual that wants to come back in your life we already know how this goes someone wants to come in because they know that you have a box of trinkets here this person is going to come in because and they're going to be wearing a mask okay they're not going to be showing them who what their real intent is when they show up okay maybe because this person thinks that they're smarter than you all right or they think that they're 10 steps ahead of you but this is only because maybe for whoever i'm speaking to you you're not saying much or you're or this person's under the impression because you don't they feel like if you're not saying something you don't know or something yeah someone here is trying to disrupt your peace or your prosperity okay someone wants to um Somebody wants you to be dishonored, okay? Somebody doesn't want people to think that you're loyal or something. Something about America could be of significance. You guys could be from America. Something about Texas could be of significance as well, all right? Or someone here just doesn't... They're trying to restrict your freedom. <laughs> so, uh, it's the same messages as usual. You got a weirdo trying to... In, infiltrate their way into your life it's not gonna happen though whatever this person attempts to do or people attempt to do it's not gonna do anything holy spirit holy angels what's going on what are these people what's going on with these people yes yeah, so they got a lot of you got people crying you got people crying and you got people confused okay because whatever they've been trying to do, it ain't working. They've been trying to sacrifice you, trying to make you um, lose some sort of position that you're in, okay? Trying to make you look bad, all types of things. These people are surprised and they threatened by your ass, okay? They're surprised that none of the shit they're doing works because they're realizing that you're fucking smart. <laughs> You're fucking smart. I don't know if you're walking around and people thinking you dumb or something, but I don't know, child. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're always happy that they just automatically think since you're happy or you're a nice person, they, they automatically think you're gullible or you're dumb or something. Happiness is a choice. Treating people with respect and being nice is, is, is called having fucking manners. I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why people think that's like a weakness. I don't know. I'm also getting people are upset because you're not accepting their excuses or something. Like you could have, whoever I'm speaking to you, you really got yourself out of sticky situations, okay? And you you were the only, you only had one person to rely on and that was yourself. Along with God as well. But it's like, I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you having to experience stuff or get uh, overcome challenges and difficulties by yourself, it's it may have caused you to not have any compassion for people who have a lot of excuses. I don't know. We have brave though. Someone wants you to shut the fuck up is what I'm getting, child. You got somebody out here that wants you to be quiet. They want you to shut up. I'm also getting like this person may not know that you know who this is, but I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you do know. I just feel like you ain't saying nothing and you might need to keep it that way. Because this person's gonna, um, they're digging their own grave. That's what I'm getting. They're digging their own grave. People are gonna be passing away. I'm sorry. I heard that in the beginning of the year in January that I kept, I kept hearing over and over again, they're all gonna die. I heard that in early morning and then right when I was about to go to sleep. Peep. Pe you have to understand these are people that are doing it to themselves though. They did this to themselves. They were warned several times. 
somebody's mother could be involved in this because we do have the empress card out here don't have to be or you could be a mother i also was getting something about someone like trying to someone here could be using a voodoo doll and they could be trying to poke the belly of a feminine energy who is pregnant so i don't know who that is okay if you're currently pregnant um you need to pray against whoever's trying to do some nasty wicked crap like that why do we have partnerships and alliances because I, I i saw that yesterday in a vision and i didn't want to talk about it but I, it needs to be said otherwise we have emerald someone wants to come in and heal something with you okay taurus energy is out here a lot i'm also getting like somebody here i feel like the reason they want to come and uh heal something with you or restore something with you is because they want to be part of some sort of growth that you're experiencing in your life okay they want to be a part of um whatever you're attracting is what i feel like is going on someone here could be 31 years old or the number 13 could be significant someone wants to redo something or there's someone from your past that has matured and they actually want to come in and have a mature relationship. I don't know. A strong relationship with you. Maybe they see your value now. I don't know. Somebody want to get someone pregnant, though. I <laughs> keep feeling... Mm. Someone is real emotional right now. This could be a cancer or someone who has cancer somewhere in their chart. Confirmation. Um, someone wants to come in and be honest with you. They want to tell you something about like a perspective, like they're, where they're coming from in the situation. But this is someone here who is hiding things from you. Uh, this person could be telepathically communicating something to you as well. Coin toss. Someone wants to come, someone wants to explain to you why either, if you, okay, the number 12 is out here again, clarifying the sacrifice card. So 12, 12, 12, 12, a cycle with this individual is over. Okay. So now this person, now that the cycle is over, this person still thinks they could have a chance with you. I guess they want to come in and tell you why they did what they did. Someone wants you to reconsider them. They feel like they have a 50-50 chance that you might say yes. I don't know, child. Do what you need to do. <laughs> I'm not your mama. I'm not your daddy. This person wants to come in with a ring. I'm not your mama. I'm not your daddy. Okay, I'm just your reader. I'm just reading what the cards are. But I'm going to say this right now. If this was someone here who was toxic verbally, mentally, or physically, or whatever type of abusive to you, I would say fuck no. But do what you want. This person wants to create a bond with you, okay? I don't know. Somebody it's weird. Yeah, this person wants to come in and extend an olive branch. Someone wants to bring peace to the situation. Someone wants to bring this olive branch to this um, empress energy here. But I feel like it's only because the will is in your favor. Because you got positive things going on. Because you're on the right side of right. Because you passed a certain test. Listen. Um, you got someone coming in towards you because they're experiencing some sort of low. low I was going to say low. But lol. Someone's name could be Lou. Okay. Mm. I'm also getting like no, I'm like a This could be somebody that you share the same blood with, though. This could be a family member that wants to come in with an olive branch. That's what some of you, not all y'all. Because um, we have the word blood out here. Or there's something here about somebody wanting to mix their DNA with your DNA. Something about mixing your bloodline with their bloodline. They know that's a wise choice for them to have or experience some sort of, like, 
um, balance in their life or restoration. I don't know. Y'all need to be mindful. Someone's going to come in with a lot of sweetness or someone misses your sweet energy. Okay? Your energy nourishes someone. Your your essence brings life to this person. Okay? You, you're a life force to someone. Be wise. Remember that. Somebody wants to use your sap. The person that's coming in with this ring. I don't know. With the whole with a lot of Taurus energy out here, it's giving me marriage. Someone wants marriage or long-term commitment with you, but I don't know if it's for the best I the best intentions. We have airplane. Maybe this is somebody that has to fly towards you. Or they might want to ask you to fly towards them. I don't know. Or someone's planning on traveling towards you or they're trying to figure out how to travel towards you. Who the fuck is this? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe this is a good person, but I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who's this person that wants to come in with this ring? The, the person that wants to come in with the ring was... Had, their love for you is here today, gone tomorrow. Okay? Hmm. At one point, because I had a little, little ash on my finger here, I feel like that. Uh, whoever this person is, at one point, they were blaming you for the reason why a relationship or a partnership didn't work. Like, this is someone here that didn't take accountability or didn't, yeah. They handled the situation very immaturely. I don't know i don't know how to feel tell me more someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of a dragon note the date this could be you or this person who is this person somebody's in their feelings though over you someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of a monkey note the date that could be wanting to bring in this offer also, this could be someone that you only knew for a short amount of time, okay? Somebody here could be going around asking for advice or guidance on how to come in and approach you in order to make something that's short-term into a long-term. This person could be a Sag. Or you're a Sagittarius. Flip it where it needs to go. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rooster. Note the date. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a goat, or you do. Note the date. Someone lives at a distance, or you two, or at a distance from each other. Emotionally. I don't know. Mm. Someone's birthday could be December 26. What does this person, what does this person want to say, Spirit? <sighs> what does this person got to say? Listen, y'all, I don't know about this whole love situation, honestly. Cause I, listen, I don't think it's the best idea to be with someone that you, that you do not share the same spiritual beliefs with. I don't think that's a smart idea. I'm just going to be honest. Because when it comes to your beliefs, like, if you guys don't believe the same thing or your guys' morals or values are not on the same page... How are you going to help build something? How are you guys going to build something together? Like a family. Or a household. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like for whoever I was speaking to, uh, ask yourself, do you really want to feel alone in a relationship? 
Because that's what you're going to feel. You're going to feel alone. Like, whoever I'm speaking to, you might, like, ask yourself, do you really want to date someone who's going to judge you just like a stranger on the street will about what you believe in and your own and your spirituality and your connection to source? Do you really want that? What is this person? I'm just saying. Th that's just my opinion, though. I'm just throwing that out there because I thought about that. I sat there and I thought about it. I don't, I don't want to. I'd rather be alone than be in a relationship and feeling alone. That's, that's even sadder. We have, maybe we are better off separated, child. That's what I'm saying. Okay, it says, I fell in love the moment I saw you. So you got somebody here that's still in love with you, okay? And I feel like either, <laughs> I feel like we're for some, mm, I can't speak for everybody. For some of you, you feel like you may, you feel like you guys are better separated and some of you want this person back okay that's all i'm gonna say holy spirit holy angels tell me more we have please give me a second chance somebody wants you to give them a second chance you're being asked for the future position is use your wisdom what have you learned that's what the divine and your spirit team wants you want you to ask yourself what have you learned in that book of life experiences. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. We have, I hope our paths will cross again in the future. So you got someone here that is refusing to let you go. We have, I do love you, just don't know how to show you right now. Listen, y'all. I'm not gonna get into that because then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hurt people's feelings. Tell me more, spirit. What's going on? We have. I want to take care of you the way you've always taken care of me. Ciao. What's this? It says, I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Okay. Um. So this person doesn't understand why they run away from you it's possibly because they know they have some things some baggage they need to let go or some demons they need to face be careful someone someone would rather just benefit off of your energy so they can feel balanced and they can feel restored without having to actually dig deep and do the work someone would rather just come and suck off your healing energy hell no that's what this is. Karmic connection. Moving from the patterns. This is your test. Are you paying attention to the pattern? Child, because these motherfuckers is pissing me off. Let's see what else this motherfucker has to say. Because gosh dang. This could be a man or a woman. Flip over needs to go. This could be someone's baby mama that's toxic. Okay. This could be someone's baby daddy. This could just be an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend. Okay ex-husband even ex-wife <sighs> someone's hoping you don't think clearly holy spirit holy angels tell me more something here about green tea could be of significance maybe you guys need to drink more green tea or i'm speaking to someone who's drinking green tea right now we have you make me weak so somebody feels weak Someone feels weak because you let them go. You cut you cut them off. This person wants to say you taught me a lot about myself. Yeah, that was the whole point. Tell me more spirit. Let me know what's happening. What's going on in this situation? Because gosh dang. Someone really wants to bring something back into balance or harmony. But uh, it says I can't find the courage to approach you. So this person can't find the courage or the strength to come in and tell you how they feel this person feels like they need to balance their emotions 
one more. We have you taught me our weirdy that came out again. You taught me a lot about myself. It says, I don't know why I did it. So <laughs> I told you somebody going to try to come back and try to explain to you why they did something fucked up to you. Why they betrayed you, why they slept with Sally Sue and and Dick and Harry, everybody. I don't know what <laughs> this person is going to come in and try to convince you of some shit. I'm also getting this could have been someone here who was trying to compete with you or trying to break down an empress. Now, remember, the empress could be a man or a woman, so flip it where it needs to go. But there was there was an individual here trying to break down an empress. Someone felt like you was shining too bright for them or you were too much in your own personal power that it threatened this person's masculinity or something or threatened something within some sort of an insecurity inside this person, this man or woman, okay? Because it says you make me weak. So it's like this person feels weak, okay? Or this person feels like they're not as strong as you, whatever it is. We have secret admirers. Someone knows that you got people who are secretly admiring you or this person is admiring you from afar. They hope you don't know, but for whoever I'm speaking to, you could be highly intuitive and you already be knowing. We have both of you feel the same way about each other. So I don't know, maybe you guys both feel the same way about each other. Maybe you both feel like you both taught each other something about yourselves it says you drive me crazy someone wants to say you drive me crazy it says i'm taking action towards you so someone wants to come in and take action towards you okay it says she's only with me for the money so somebody is realizing that they're with an individual that's only with them for the money all right it says it's always been you okay so someone wants to come in and say that you've always been where their heart is at or something Lord have mercy. What else is going on? Mm -mm -mm. Someone's name is Stephanie. Someone's name could be Charlie or Charlemagne, Charla, child, I don't know, <laughs> Chaka Khan, I don't fucking know. Holy Spirit, all angels, what's going on? Sex addiction, shut up. So someone here has some sort of attachments they, they're refusing to release, okay? So this person could have some sort of lust demon on them that they can't, they can't shake the lust demon, okay? This person could have some sort of substance abuse issues. Um, this person's having a hard time being able to cope without you or... Someone's going through a dark night of the soul, I feel like, okay? You could be going through another spiritual awakening while this person is also experiencing some sort of dark night of the soul situation. Somebody could be getting tired of having reckless sex with people, meaningless sex. They could be rejecting people coming towards them with that type of energy, okay? I'm also getting like, someone is very much fearful of being rejected by you. Yeah, because this person misses you. This person could be drinking a lot, missing you. Remember, this could be an ex of yours, a karmic ex, or a karmic family member. Tell me more. We have backstab. This is someone that backstabbed you. So if you want to take this person back so they can have an opportunity to do so again, that's on you. We have pain. It says cheating, deception, mind games, love bomb. Or you might find out your karmic got backstabbed. Maybe you're going to find out. Maybe this is going to come at, come to you at a shock or when this person comes towards you to try to offer you something, this might come to you at a shock because this person is going to be coming in with a whole new attitude. Yeah, they want to come in and they want to trap you or it's because this person feels trapped and they feel like if they come towards you, they'll be free from some sort of trap here. 
okay you could be turning your back from this individual or you already have yeah i'm talking to my divine feminine this you're dealing with someone who has fleeting emotions for you they don't know if they love or hate you so yeah this is a no so you got someone coming in with a ring or a promise of some sort of commitment or wanting to come to some form of agreement with you um but all this person is their true intentions is to just keep you isolated to yourself they want they want you to be alone okay they want to get you in a relationship just so you can feel lonely just like how you are now for some of you maybe some of you don't feel lonely but whatever i'm saying is basically what i'm saying is this person is not coming in with good intentions okay um it don't look good this is a two-faced person this is opportunist vibes okay someone's looking at you like a like a lottery ticket or they're saving grace or, or a shoulder they can cry on another mommy is what it feels like we have a substantial effort will be required somebody knows they're gonna have to really work at it in order to get you to even say hello to them or to communicate with them they, this person you could have blocked this person on everything and so they are forced to have to travel to your home Okay, we have cancer. Somebody here could be a cancer or somebody's in their feelings, okay? Or you're being asked to listen to your intuition. When it comes to this individual, someone here could be a Sag, okay? Or you're a Sag, flip it where it needs to go. Someone wants to come in and tell you that you're amazing, okay? Someone, someone wants to tell you, someone wants to butter you up. What is this person's personality like? What is this person? Yikes. Okay, so this person could be an Aquarius for some of you. Not all y'all, all right? This could be somebody who thinks that they know everything. Um, I'm also getting this person feels like you have all the answers or something because of how wise you are. Someone wants you to help them out of a situation. They might want to come in and ask you, ask you for your advice or your guidance, okay? You could be someone who knows... Um, ways on how to do things or how to get things done you could be someone who's this person views you as someone who's very rational okay but this is also someone who's very manipulative this person is very much in their head right now about you okay it says unorthodox ideas it says you could talk about anything to anyone and have 10 ideas to their to their one it says vast vision ambition and problem solving bring success but focus is a challenge for you so someone is having a hard time focusing okay whoever i'm speaking to you about you on your way to some sort of great achievement okay it says you are adept at using words to paint a picture and once transmitted the knowledge you impart can change the minds of people and the world this is beautiful whoever i was speaking to you could have um capricorn somewhere in your chart or capricorn in your 10th house okay you're really good at communication whoever i'm speaking to you could be a public speaker of sorts you could be someone who knows how to solve um tough issues or tough problems you're someone who has the power of discernment okay i don't know what else is going on yeah you're self-sufficient you're focused on, on being self-sufficient you could be very resourceful someone knows this someone needs you for something look at these words it says i know i use i have okay this <laughs> somebody knows that if they come towards you they could use you for something so they could have something here they see someone this is a sagittarius someone sees what you have going on someone's spying on you they know what they could have with you I'm over this. This is going to piss me off.
You could be someone here who, su who searches for meaningful experiences, all right, in life. Someone here thinks you're fucking naive, child. This is what somebody thinks. Someone's trying to someone's trying to obtain something that you have. It says your security is shaking and if you find that the truth you were taught is flawed or incomplete by your life path is to lock into your own inner knowing. Oh, but your life path is to lock into your own inner knowing. Somebody somebody here might want to reprogram you okay that's another thing that i'm getting i'm also getting this person doesn't know who they are they need to discover their own personal truth um this don't look good that's all i gotta say that don't look good i'm also getting like somebody knows that okay this could be someone who's getting readings on you they're doing some form of divination and they're they know that you got something coming towards you so they want to disrupt that. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the hell going on with this motherfucker? We have down to earth. It says knocked off the pedestal, humbled, ego death. Someone's going through an ego death. This is someone here who was very arrogant at one point. This person's getting smacked back down to fucking reality. Okay, this person, the reason why this is happening because someone is going through some sort of tower moment. Okay, they're being forced to change. That's what tower moments are. Force, force change. So somebody is off balance. So someone might come towards you off balance because they can't sacrifice you or they can't let go of your energy or, but they're being forced to. Someone here is going to be experiencing some sort of divination as well or devastation, divination. See, someone really is doing something. Someone here could have been um, violating your spiritual boundaries, okay? That's why, this is another reason why something is about to, um, some sort of tower moment is about to hit. We have STDs. Someone's sexual behavior is gonna, um, is gonna bite them in the ass. That's, that's what's going on, child. Someone here could have been trying to accuse you of having some sort of STD, so people, so other individuals wouldn't want to partner up with you or something or whatever the heck this is okay we have alienation pushing others away miscommunication delusion irritable jaded outlook bad attitude arguments misunderstandings lowered frequency so you guys are dealing with someone who has a who operates from a lower frequency here that was mad this is someone here who was trying to humble you with with um a humiliation tactic trying to stress you out somebody weird you have an egotistical arrogant person trying to humble somebody who's already humble <laughs> somebody got problems we got the law yeah they got some fucking problems with the law somebody getting arrested someone is gonna be able someone has to go to court or someone here is gonna something happening yeah x is united it says those that hurt come together so you got these people that were lying on you all coming together people that you walked away from because you were told by the divine to walk away from these motherfuckers and they all got together with each other to try to fucking destroy you in some way now these people feel lost these also could be spiritual people these could have been people who were called but they didn't pass the test so they're no longer chosen So this looks like an ex, a karmic ex teaming up with a bunch of other sad ass people that are karmic and toxic, unhealed, trying to do something to you. They're all going to get their comeuppance. That's basically what's happening. They're going to try to try one little, another little trick, which is this. Don't fall for it, please. Someone's name could be Purnell. We have nightmares. Okay, someone here, <laughs> someone's, someone's experiencing some fucking nightmares here. Someone here could be experiencing some sort of ins insomnia. Your ancestors could be visiting this person, whooping that ass. All right. Because whoever I'm speaking to, um, you on top of your shit, bitch. You on point, you're on target, you're in alignment. 
and this is causing someone fucking nightmares okay this is causing someone sleepless nights all right they're stressing out about this all right this person is throwing a lot of shade or a lot of negative energy your way okay this person is going to come towards you they want to be rude to you they want to insult you they want to be disrespectful because you said goodbye because you said deuces bitch tell me more yeah someone is going to be experiencing some sort of legal issues someone here might have to be sent back to the country that they came from we have immigration someone needs to hire a lawyer we have blocked you have this person blocked for show okay this person's mad because you block them this person is a follower they are not a leader okay and everybody else who followed this karmic ex of yours to try to do something fucked up to you or karmic family member whoever followed or supported this person they're all experiencing the same thing insomnia nightmares anxiety stress paranormal activity in their homes because they done fucked with the wrong one tell me more spirit yeah these people wanted other people to look at you like you're trash okay Somebody could have went to the law of the law enforcement or to, or to the police to try to say that you need to be thrown away, you need to be locked up. Somebody could have been trying to say you were selling sex or something. People is crazy. This is a happiness hater, whoever this is. This is somebody that does not want to see you go off and be with somebody who truly loves and cares for you. This person ain't shit. Ain't shit is this person. Who the hell is this? Who's this person that ain't shit? Rolling their eyes. A family member. This, <laughs> this is a family member or an ex of yours. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a monkey. Know the date or you do. Flip it where you need to go, child. I'm not your mama. I'm not your daddy. All right, These, this person that ain't shit is somebody that you've known for a very long time. This is somebody that you used to go to for advice or guidance, or you used to give advice or guidance to. Because they ain't shit. They lost. They're a lost individual. Clueless as fuck. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a dog. Know the date. That could be you or somebody else who ain't shit. Tell me more, spirit. We got Capricorn on the floor. This could be a Capricorn who ain't shit, okay? Or someone is obsessed with you. Because they know that you the shit and they ain't shit. They they ain't even the fart. <laughs> like I smoke. Shit's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Can't. You keep going hard. And these people just keep failing. They just keep failing. Let's get out Big Bertha real quick and then I gotta wrap this up y'all holy spirit holy angels what's going on what do they need to hear regarding this message yeah you could be someone who's very much an old soul you could have the life path 11 okay we have a b someone's first middle or last name could start with a b we have changed will or inheritance i also feel like someone here was trying to destiny swap abundance transfer something child whatever it is it didn't work okay someone was also trying to change someone else's free will or something we got a welfare check scam so somebody here broke trying to get money off the government trying to maybe use your government security number or something we have self-made success stories so your self-made success story and somebody real mad about this too tell me more spirit they're mad because they can't take credit for something that you have built for yourself or, or for whatever success that you're successful in. If you went to school and you went and you had no one supporting you while you were putting yourself through school, even though you may have asked, um, and now you're successful, you graduated and you have a good job or whatever, that these people are upset about it. We have hid a child or pregnancy. 
okay? They could have been thinking you was going to fail the whole time. We have 888. It says you are receiving divine guidance at this time. We have Wainus, Wainus. We have Waning Giveth Moon. You're definitely going through some sort of rebirth. You're being asked to release any bad habits, stress, negative thoughts, okay? Have gratitude, self-reflect at this time. We have grandma. Something about your grandma is of significance, child. I told you somebody was pregnant. Somebody pregnant. Somebody, maybe some, maybe you just told your grandma. Maybe your grandma knows. I don't know. We have karmic cycle complete. So there's some sort of karmic cycle that is definitely complete when it comes to um, somebody here. Something about arson is of significance. Someone could be a Libra. <laughs> I'm not good. Totally work. We have appreciating where you are right now. Listen, you guys don't understand how much grace I give my fucking ops. <laughs> There are so many times I could spill some tea or just call motherfuckers out, but I don't say nothing. They should be grateful. We have appreciating where you are right now. Tell me more, spirit. What the hell going on? We have astral travel. Someone was trying to cipher energy off of you in your dreams. Disgusting. Someone's name is Brian. We have a screwdriver. Okay. Someone here is trying to fix something with you. Someone who's someone that you had a karmic cycle with that is now complete. These are exes and these are family members that are karmic. These are friends that are karmic that are all going to come back in some sort of uh, attempt to do something. Trying to, I don't know. Mm. We have does things on or for the dark web. Someone's first one or a last name could start with an F. Facebook could be significant for some of you. We have Liz and Linda. Pay attention to something. We have this. Someone is going to get in trouble for attempting to harm you because they wanted to get away with this. Your grandma knows this. Or your grandma's helping this come to light. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Someone here is going to be getting a life sentence and they know this. This is why they're trying to get rid of you before you could get rid of them or something like that, y'all. Before you could testify or tell the truth about something. I don't know. Someone wants you to shut the fuck up, though. Because you're not... Because somebody could have been going around saying that you're crazy or you, you're, you don't have your... Uh, you don't have all your cards in your deck or something. Someone was trying to say, like, you don't, you are not mentally stable. But the more and more you continue to communicate and speak, someone, people are realizing that you, you a bright cookie. Okay? They're, they're realizing whoever the fuck is talking shit about you is a liar. Someone's first middle or last name can start with a G. This person is very much envious of you. And they a fucking liar. Man, I'm fucking good. This person's a fucking liar. They're giving you the evil eye. There's a private investigator involved in this situation that's crooked as fuck. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Someone's first motor or last name could start with an R, or there's a police officer in here that's very fucking corrupt. We have um, family drama. There's family drama with an envious person in your family. There could be an envious person in your family that it has a pregnancy or is pregnant. Maybe they're trying to hide the pregnancy. Maybe they don't know who they're actually pregnant by. Or maybe this was, maybe you're the child. Maybe someone doesn't know who you, who your daddy is. I don't know. We have false person. Okay, so there's a false person here that's going to be seen as a liar. This is their karma. Okay. They want to come in and try to, this liar wants to come in and try to fix something with you. They want to, they want to, um, extend an olive branch. Hell no. We have grand larceny. So there was someone here who stole a lot of, uh, who stole a large sum of money from you. And they did it by the means of the dark web. Somebody is good with computers or something. Or they paid someone who was good with computers. Someone's name could be George, Gilbert, Gil. Robert, because that name keeps coming up. Someone's name could be Gary. Larry. We have Hater is watching you. So you got a Hater that's very much watching your ass. Envious as hell. Okay, it says, 
police are investigating you so the police could be investigating investigating you or investigating this fucking liar or this liar had police investigating you we have stomach issues someone here is having stomach issues because they know they're getting fucked up this could be someone's brother your brother someone's brother or someone in a brotherhood we have focus on yourself you're being asked to focus on yourself at this time or there's people around this envious person that are realizing that they're bothering you and all you're doing is focusing on yourself people are gonna these people are exposing themselves we have dangerous you got a dangerous liar out here uh, stay away from people we got pills someone here is gonna try to poison you they want to drug you and they're gonna come in acting like they want to be your lover so just be careful Maybe someone's hoping that you feel isolated or hoping that you feel lonely in order for your guards to be down or something. We have colorism. You got a lot of hate because of the color of your skin or the lack thereof. Someone's mad because of the way you were born and you can't fix that. Tell me more. We have 1212. You guys can be seeing 1212 a lot. There's a cycle that's ending. This is why the divine just wants you to focus on yourself because he's the divine God. God is going to take care of this. We have spiritual warfare. Someone here is really dangerous. They've been trying to use some sort of dangerous spiritual warfare or something. They could have been warned not to do so, but they did it anyway. Someone here could be Jewish. You could be Jewish or the person that's trying to dabble in some sort of uh, dangerous witchcraft or whatever. They could be Jewish. I don't know, child. We have someone, someone you block, uh, someone you blocked will try to reach back out to you. So you got someone who you have blocked that didn't like your ass anyway, <laughs> um, is going to try to reach back out to you. Okay. Something about one year, maybe you stopped talking to this person last year. Okay. Or something has been happening for a whole year. We have intentions is everything. Okay. So maybe somebody here has been astral traveling into your dreams to cipher off energy off of you for a whole year. This is someone who's envious of you. Maybe this is somebody here who is ciphering energy off your chakral chakra so that they can get pregnant. That's for some of you, not all y'all. This is a hater though. This could be a hater that's watching that's in your family. Okay? Or someone's family. You think you're the shit? You ain't even the fart. <laughs> it's just hilarious. We have slowed down. Slow down, busy bee. Someone could be farting a lot or something. Someone could have some sort of stomach issues for sure. We have Tiana Taylor. It says Rose in Harlem. Okay. It's always the ones that's closest to you. The ones that said they ride and die for you. Those that you look up to as well. Damn. The ones you thought you could trust. We have felony. Someone's about to uh, get a felony here. Whoever this dangerous person is. Someone could have been trying to put their hands on you or their handprints are found, have been found on something. We have a spiritual fast is needed. So you're being asked to go through a spiritual fast at this time. Okay. We have last laugh. You're going to have the last laugh. Okay. <sighs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who's this dangerous ass son of a bitch? Tell me more. This dangerous person could be. This dangerous person could be your your twin flame gone rogue. Okay, for some of you, that is a storyline. You guys could have a twin flame that is a felon. Okay, that's dangerous. They're literally the uh, exact mirror op opposite of you. <laughs> I can't. That is dangerous. That's for some of you, not all y'all. For some of you, the dangerous individual could be somebody who's um, trying to have some start some sort of spiritual warfare with you that does not want you to be with your twin flame. They could even be connected to your twin flame. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of an ox. Note the date. This could be you who's the dangerous person, ox, or not. Tell me more. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit. That could be you or the dangerous person. Someone's trying to plan something real treacherous. We have Aries. Someone here could be an Aries. This is someone who's in competition with you, maybe over your twin flame. Okay, this person is very much dangerous. We got pig. Demons get casted into pigs. So I don't know. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the pig. Note the date. Or someone here is just greedy and they can't stop fucking like a rabbit. I don't know, child. We got Libra. Someone There could be a Libra that's dangerous, child. 
this person's karmic so you got a karmic rabbit karmic libra karmic aries karmic ox and a karmic twin flame for some of you or just a karmic feminine energy in general that's dangerous that you need to be aware of what does this bitch look like person look like that the collective need to be aware of spirit please and thank you this person could have long hair that's wavy that is dangerous or there's someone here who's a teenager or a younger person that is dangerous that you need to be aware of someone here could be trying to employ children okay to do something to you we got this these could be kids that are runaways they could be kids that have backpacks on them Okay, this person could have honey brown or ginger hair that is dangerous. They could have red hair. They could dye it that color or they're naturally a redhead. This person could be a Capricorn or they could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart. That's dangerous. Something about lip gloss. Maybe someone always feels like they have to have lip gloss on their lips or chapstick or something, child. Okay, this person could have cancer somewhere in their chart or they are cancer someone here could have tattoos or they have a significant birthmark somewhere this is a person that's dangerous okay or someone's just obsessed and in their feelings okay because yikes um what else do they need to know Someone's breath could stink. We got morning breath. Someone here is uncoordinated. So someone here could be always drunk or high or intoxicated in some way. We have tree hugger. Someone here could be vegan. Or somebody here doesn't. This person cares about like. <laughs> this person could care about um, animal rights or something. PETA. I don't know. Someone could be like a an activist. But they're like dangerous. So anymore. Like, this is the type of activist that will, like, never mind, let me not get into that because I'm not going to try to piss people off. We have hot, okay? Um, this person cares about being hot and sexy. This could be an, an incubus or a succubus type of individual. This person could be very cocky. They think they look good or whatever the fuck. Tell me more. This person could be um, sensitive or something. And they a backstabber. Okay. What else do we need to know about this situation? Spirit. There's a child somewhere. Somebody pregnant. That's about to change, I guess. You're going to get some sort of good news here. Or maybe you're going to find out you're pregnant. Um, somebody about to get pregnant. With some, okay. Either someone's about to get news that they are pregnant. And this is a good thing for some of you. For another, some of you. There's somebody. There's a couple here. There's somebody in a partnership that got someone pregnant outside of their relationship. Also, I'm getting someone here wants to start something new with you uh, but this could be somebody who's from a high society and that's what somebody doesn't want you to be someone doesn't want you to be with that person because they know if you end up being in a relationship with that person it's going to change your life for the better or something yeah this is a false person an enemy that knows this and they're mad about it 
So you're you're about to receive a message or some sort of good news from somebody who has high honors or someone here that's ordained from God for you, okay? Or someone who has who's in some sort of higher plane, higher society society or something. This is going to help change, bring change and for you to have a new beginning. This false person knows this and they're stressed out and they're in fear about this. Damn. Someone, this person's enamored by you. Someone really likes your energy. But I don't think it's like a fiend, like the, like the vampire you're dealing with. We have set up energy. It says, don't meet up or attend any events with people you do not fully trust. This is your warning. Someone wants to set you up. It's somebody that is closest to you, somebody that you look up to, someone that you trust. We have surrender the battle to the divine and seek to heal only. It's not time. It's not the time to seek out revenge. Okay, like I said, it's time for you to just allow the divine to step in and do what God got to do. Okay, we have abstain from sec sacred energy exchange. So someone here, this person that wants to come in with this ring, okay, that has who's a fucking false person where's that guy's dang card joe who's a false person they want to come in and they want to have sexy time with you they possibly want to do this to get you pregnant okay so you could have a baby with them and it could change what is coming this good news that's coming towards you okay so just be mindful tell me more I also feel like someone wants to come in and love bomb you with like a ring or something like that in order to get you in the bed so they can just attach to your chakral chakra again. We have black cat. It says light to aid in changing bad luck into good luck. Somebody wants to take your good luck, your will of fortune. It's not gonna happen. I cancel and rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let me see what else is going on. What else they need to her spirit? <sighs> That's wild. I keep feeling like we we keep reading over the same storyline, but it's like the more the the more the days go by, it's like the more details we're getting is what I feel like is going on. Okay. You're about to find out everyone who played a hand in this, like for sure. We have ruler of virtues. There's a miracle on the way for you. So don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Okay. It says, when you feel all hope is lost, I can help you successfully navigate what seems like an impossible situation. Okay. Some of you might need to work with Jasper. That could be something that could help benefit you at this time. You may feel like there's no way out of your situation. You need to know anything is figure outable. Listen, you live in a lucky time right now in life. Okay, you have the internet. You could Google your way at anything, really. <laughs> Just being honest. It's truth. We have um, knowledge is power. We have angel of, of impossible miracles. You got a lot of miracles out here. Two cards talking about miracles, child. You got a miracle coming. And somebody is so fucking mad about it, too. We have call on me when you need an impossible miracle. And I will set a series of events into motion to bring it about. Bloodstone. Something about your blood. Someone wants to taint it. It says many timelines. Okay. Surprises. Another thing that I'm getting is with that whole CERN situation, you know, the, 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 what the scientists do in Sweden, right? I think it's Sweden, Switzerland. I don't know. They're fucking up timelines. Well, whatever they're doing, they're fucking up timelines. They're fucking up. They're trying to fuck up time. I think.
We have divine angel of guidance and truth. It says, I, re I reveal the path to God and will restore the divine light in your heart to show you the way. Some, so somebody's heart has already opened in March. Or somebody already knows that you are their person. Or maybe whoever I'm speaking to, you passed some sort of test. Whoever was called and now you were chosen. You remained having a clean heart, okay? You, God knows that you were, you were trusted with a little and now you're going to be trusted with a lot. Something like that. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay. Something about the full moon between now and the full moon. I think the full moon is like, what, 10 days from now? Nine days, 10, nine days from now. So you might need to call the cops on whoever this dangerous ass person is. Someone, this person may already have a felony. They could already have some sort of rap sheet. Okay. This could be someone in your family. This could have been an ex-friend, an associate, a co-worker, um, your ex's ex, your ex's, one of your ex's hoes. Okay. That they was dealing with. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We have 10, 11. We have, this is a call to action to move forward. The sooner you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what you set out to do. It says those with patience will eventually reap the rewards of their perseverance. Continue to persevere regardless of what you're experiencing at this time. Listen, there's a lot of things that I have experienced while being on YouTube and filming my videos. Like I, you guys don't understand. I've had a lot of weird shit happen to me and I had to, I just continued acting like, I didn't know what was going on. That's all I'm going to say. Just, just stay quiet and focus on what you got going on. Focus on being the light to the world. Okay. It says you can do everything by yourself, but life is to be shared. Partner up with the right spirit and you'll become a force. Honor commitments and people around. Don't judge. Listen. So you guys can be seeing a lot of twos at this time so what i feel like is going on is divine feminine or whoever's in this empress ass energy whoever's coming towards you use your wisdom because you may be having someone from your past that actually has done the inner work and they really are a, a spiritual vibrational match for you they could be coming in to ask you to be in a relationship with them or to ha or have your hand in marriage right or you have someone from your past that is not healed and is going to be trying to pull this on you. Okay? Just be mindful because everybody's life is different. I feel like you'll know. You wouldn't have to guess. Like if this person comes in, ooh, offering you something, you would know. It, you, would ha you wouldn't have a doubt about it. Okay, just like say like when you are going out shopping and you look at something and if it doesn't jump out on you, like jump out to you and you're like, never mind, I don't want to pay $6.99 for this. It's not giving me, it's not giving it, it's not giving, you know what I mean? <laughs> then, you know what I mean? You will know, whoever I'm speaking to, you will know. We have 1331, it says good fortune. It says have faith in your skills and talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future. It says a piece of good advice, a moment of enlightenment, or a comforting message is on its way. Everything will work out in your favor. Everything is gonna work out in your favor, baby. Okay? And then we have 666. Reflect, it says several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. You need a mental shift towards greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. Put your faith in your gut and inner voice. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. Okay? This is what you should be nice to do. This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.